Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Fast Lane was last night, guys. Hope you guys had a great weekend. We're back here with another review. Fastlane 2017 in the bank. We're officially less than four weeks away from WrestleMania. Take some time and subscribe, guys. Let's get right into it. We had, I think, ten matches last night. And... Oh, man, I don't know. Fun show. Got our morning coffee. Roll up the rim. I actually got this from a free coffee I won off my previous coffee. So, so comment below, guys. What do you guys... Rate fast lane this year. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Um, you know, what are your expectations going into WrestleMania now? Um, we, we definitely have a few matches building up to Mania, and uh, we'll, we'll get into all that in a little while. And I don't know if it was just me or did the crowds or did the arena seem like it was partly empty at, at points. So we had eight matches. Um, I went six for eight in my prediction, so not bad. The one match that got me, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, Pre-show, Rich Swan and Akira Tozawa defeated Kendrick and uh, Noam Dar. I didn't watch the pre-show. I never usually do. I'll probably watch WrestleMania's pre-show. So I got that right. And it kicked off with Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe in a very quick match. Um, you know, a lot of people expected this to be match of the night. It, it definitely wasn't. Um, very quick match. Um, Samoa Joe locking in the Coquina Clutch for the victory. And I wanted to see, like, the, the referee, you know, Lift the arm up three times and then, you know, call the match off. You know, they don't do that anymore. I don't even think Sami Zayn tapped. Uh, not that I've seen. Um, so, just an awkward finish. Um, Samoa Joe wins. Definitely looking strong heading into Mania. Who knows who his opponent will be. Then we had Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Um, you know, these first few matches, it seemed like they were all working in a hold there for some point in the match. Um, I don't know who the agents or who, who's putting the matches together on Raw, but they almost all look the same. Um, so, so, thumbs down for that. Um, Sasha Banks actually picks the win up. Um, a, a, a decent match for, for you know, the, the two different styles between Jax and Banks. But, um, you know, again, it's, it's very hard for Sasha Banks to, to get these maneuvers on a, a bigger woman like Nia Jax. I don't even think she could pick her up. But at, at one point, Nia Jax had Sasha Banks in the torture rack, a la Lex Luger. And she was doing squats with Banks on her shoulders. So pretty cool spot there. Uh, Banks ends up reversing it into a you know headlock. Um, I, when when I seen that, I was thinking immediately of uh, Mick Foley and the Big Show when uh, Mick Foley thought it would be a good idea for the Big Show to just drop on his back with. Uh, Mick Foley taking the fall and eventually crushing Mick Foley's ribs and <laughs> collapsing his lungs. <laughs> so, uh, Banks ends up uh, rolling her up. Uh, 
about the eight or nine minute mark for the victory. And then we had Gallows and Anderson versus Enzo and Cass. And while this match was going on, I was like, these guys need to cheat to win and retain the titles. They definitely did that. Um, a, a pretty decent match. You know, Enzo and Cass cutting a pretty good promo in, in the beginning. And they knocked out uh, Cass early on. Uh, Anderson has Enzo in the ring, hits a uh, move, and Enzo gets his foot on the rope. Gallows pushes it off. Club retains the titles heading into Mania. So I wonder if they'll put the straps on Enzo and Cass heading in uh, or at Mania. So that's interesting to see. Neville versus Jack Gallagher in the cruiserweight title match. Um, you know, I expect a lot from the Cruiserweights, and like I said with the, uh, Sasha Banks match, that, uh, it seems like they're all, all the matches are put together by the same people. Um, you know, they did do a couple of cool high spots. Um, I'm guessing Arn Anderson put this match together with the headbutts. <laughs> Arn loves his headbutts, and, uh, Gallagher hit three vicious headbutts. The third one was when Neville was sitting on the top rope. And he lays back over the ring post like he's knocked out on the top rope. Eventually, uh, Gallagher tries to, you know, hit a superplex. Neville, you know, slams him off awkwardly and hits the red arrow for the win. Something we haven't seen in a while from Neville, um... Good match. In between here, we had a couple of matches with Rusev and Jinder Mahal. Um, these guys were a tag team, and now they're they're fighting similar to like the Holy Cousins did back in the day. They were on good terms when they were in the ring, but the smallest thing ticked them off, and they would get into it. Um, so Jinder Mahal starts off by having a match with Cesaro. Cesaro gets the win with the uppercut. And then Big Show comes out taking on Rusev in a pretty decent match. You know, two bigger guys going at it. Um, I, I really like Rusev. Rusev sporting a new haircut. And Big Show sporting a massive beard. Um, I think Big Show looked a little disappointed that he wasn't uh, booked to begin with. Um... You know, WrestleMania's season's already been kicked off for the past couple of months, and it seems like they got nothing for Big Show. So Big Show ends up winning after three choke slams, and then a knockout shot into the, uh, while well, Rusev was in the bottom corner there. Uh, a decisive victory for Big Show. I think after this, we had Strowman and Reigns. Um, a, a good back and forth match between the two two guys, but um, I, I wasn't impressed with this match. Um, you know, I, I really think that they could have held this off for Mania, have Roman sh slay the giant at uh, WrestleMania, but... The cool spot where uh, Roman Reigns was going for a spear. Strowman hits a power slam through the Spanish announce table. So a nice spot. And Roman Reigns hits the Superman punch for the win. Pinning the, the big man clean at Fastlane. It, it's just a waste of a moment. And we'll, we'll get into a waste of a moment up here. Charlotte Flair taking on Bailey for the Raw Women's title. Bailey pins Charlotte, which which I was shocked to see. Um, I had uh, Bailey retaining by DQ. Sasha Banks ends up running out, um, but I don't know why they didn't call a DQ. Same with the uh, Strowman match. Why didn't they DQ 
Strowman. Um, so Bailey hits a Bailey to belly on the outside of the ring, and then another one on the inside for the win. But before this, Sasha or uh, Charlotte has the uh, inside cradle while pulling the tights, and then Sasha Banks like waving at the ref, and Charlotte uh, lets go of the pin. Bailey distracts. It's the distraction with the Bailey to belly for the win. Um, awkward finish there. They definitely could have saved this uh, Bailey clean win over Charlotte. I'm gonna call it a clean win. You know, with 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 a minor distraction. Um, you know, Sasha never really interfered, but Bailey did pin the Queen. Um, very, very shocking to see Charlotte take this loss at Fastlane. Um, and the main event for the WWE Universal Championship, Goldberg versus Kevin Owens. Um, this match didn't even last 30 seconds. Kevin Owens spent more time on the outside of the ring, gallivanting around, and he finally gets in there. Jericho's music hits. Distraction, spear, jackhammer. New world, new universal champion, yay. Um, I wasn't impressed by this. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I, it was predictable. Uh, I, I think, I really thought they would have, you know, tried something with Goldberg and, you know, have them have a halfway decent match before WrestleMania. Because if this is the way we're going heading into Mania, the way uh, I see it going is Goldberg, what, it's an F5, a couple F5s and a couple Germans for the win. There, there can't be any other possible outcome besides that. So... Uh, I, I wasn't happy with the match. It, it was very predictable. We all knew Goldberg was going to win. Um, they, 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 they didn't even try. It's like they, they don't want to expose Goldberg for the, for the shitty wrestler he is. and Or they, they, they don't want him to get hurt heading into Mania. Who knows? But um, very predictable. We got a new Universal Champion who's... Probably not going to be on house shows. He's probably not going to be on Raw every week. And if he is, what's he going to do? Squash Owens again in another 20 seconds in his rematch? Um, I can definitely see Owens uh, getting bypassed here after, till, uh, after Mania sometime and never really getting his rematch for the title. Overall, I'm going to give this show a thumbs down. Um, a lot of wasted moments here um, before WrestleMania. Pinning Strowman clean. Bailey pinning Charlotte. And the Goldberg Kevin Owens was, was very disappointing. Um, very predictable show. Uh, let, let's hope for a halfway decent mania. We got Monday Night Raw tonight, SmackDown tomorrow, AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. I'm actually looking forward to that match, guys. So take some time and subscribe, guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace.